Hey, I'm Nate, and today we're looking at the new Bass Array Series 2 line from Gensler Amplification. The new line includes seven different cab models, and one of the most popular multi-cab configurations is the BA2-115-3SLT and the BA2-210-3STR stack. I'm stoked to have them here in the studio today because I'm a huge fan of the original Bass Array cabs. I've used them for years in session work, I've toured all around the world with them, and they've never let me down. So let's see what the new Series 2 is all about. Starting off, we have all-new Italian-designed Lavoce Premium Neodymium speakers. This includes the 10s, the 15, and also the 3-inch line arrays. With these new speakers, we get increased power handling, a broader frequency response with greater mid-range definition, and extended top-end clarity. And most of the Series 2 models are now lighter weight than the original versions. For the opening piece, I used a blend of both cabs for my bass tone. Let's listen to the BA2-115-3SLT on its own now. I'm capturing the audio with dual AKG D112s and AKG P2s. You can hear all of my bass parts isolated at the end of the video. <laughs> The depth and low frequency punch of the BA2-115-3SLT is on par with the original series. I hear the greatest difference in the mid clarity and top end extension here. You can hear more of the bass's natural voice with that increased definition in the mids, and the wider highs make sense considering we've gone from a 15kHz response to 18k now. Pretty cool. And the 15 is the only model that shares the same weight as the original series. All other Series 2 models are lighter. Now let's listen to the BA2-210-3STR isolated. <laughs> Compared to the 210s of the original series, the Series 2 210s have more depth and fullness down low, along with the advantages of the enhanced mid-clarity and top-end extension that we also heard with the 115. Now let's compare the Series 2 115 and 210s. First we'll listen back to back, and then we'll hear them together. <laughs> Here in the room, the two tens have more low mid to upper mid definition. This frequency range contains most of a bass's unique tonal character. So for example, when I switch between a J bass and a P bass, I'll hear a bigger difference between them on the two tens than I will on the 115. The low mid presence of the two tens enables a strong, punchy tone, and the line array provides a top end brilliance. A similar top end is heard from the 115. Again, thanks to the line array. But where the 115 shines is its superb depth. 
you can really feel the subfrequencies fill the room. The 115 might sound slightly scooped compared to the 210s, and when you put the two cabs together, you have the best of both worlds. Clear and defined highs and mids, a strong responsive punch, and deep sustaining lows. The Magellan 800 paired with Baser A-Series 2 cabs further enhances the defining character of any bass. I've heard other players say that the Magellan Baser A combo is like a studio reference monitor, specifically for your bass guitar. Let's test this out. I'll play my Fender American Ultra P bass with some years old flat wound strings. This can often sound like an undefined thud through most rigs, but let's hear how it sounds with the Magellan and bass arrays. We're able to hear a clear and deep fundamental, and the characteristic P bass tones shine through for a warm and present voice in the mix. As I've said before, playing my bass through the Magellan 800 and bass array cabs is like adding just the right amount of salt to a bass tone. And now the new Lavoce speakers are really packing a punch in all the right ways. They're detailed and clear, with a very wide frequency response, and paired with Gensler's innovative cab design, we have a fantastic sound with amazing projection and dispersion. It's quite the immersive rig. Find out more about the new Series 2 bass array cabs from Gensler Amplification at GenslerAmplification.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Nate Navarro. Take care.